Hey guys, I have a real problem with bass players. Like this woman here, bass players get the option to play completely fretless, while everyone else is stuck with these little tiny metal road bumps. It's about time fretless guitars become all inclusive. Oh no way! Firstly, you should know how frets are installed since the rest of this video is mindless guitar mutilation. So basically, the frets are held in place by these metal barbs and they act like insect legs and then they're glued and smashed into the neck. Now let's pick a guitar to mutilate. I need a guitar. I need a guitar. I need a guitar. Is this the guitar? Not me. No. No, please. Oh, fuck. Tell my wife I love her. Welcome to the workbench. <coughs> I found these nail clippers in my mom's bathroom and they got the ball rolling. It's for cuticles and it works perfectly for taking frets off of a guitar. Sorry about the trimmers, mom. You might be wondering why I'm turning each fret into a little ninja star and that's a simple answer. These worked perfectly, and even did the boomerang thing. Nice. After a while, I had a 50-50 split of ninja stars and reusable frets. I got a whole load of frets that I did not mess up. I held the frets out in front of the guitar, letting it know that it was completely useless now. Somehow I didn't realize that removing the frets would leave behind 22 fretless crevices. So of course, I had to go pick some wood filler from a tree. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen my wood filler? Thanks, man. I'm perfect. Using wood filler to fill in these crevices felt really good. I got lost in a therapeutic routine of laying down wood filler and then rubbing it in. Laying down more filler and then rubbing it in. I waited until the neck formed a good, solid crust. Then I sanded it smooth. Let's begin. I was happy to put my Nirvana cosplay goggles to good use. I think that's good. Soon I had a cursed guitar neck laying right before me. Oh, no way. Just like the beautiful wooden box Jesse Pinkman made for his mother, I used wood finish to bring the piece together. Satin classic black or satin espresso. And I'm thinking this one. Dark wood finish would not only cover up my mistakes, but it also looked pretty nice. Woo! Look at that. Fretless. Don't let those rosy cheeks fool you. I added too much stain and wasn't happy with how it looked. I decided to go back and sand off the excess wood stain that I figured was ruining the neck. Sanding, I love sanding. Hopefully this doesn't ruin it. But by doing this, I was releasing a toxic chemical into the air known as lead. Everything started to feel a bit hazy. Thing on there. Thing on there. Thing on there. Frick it. Lead in the air. There's my nice dress jacket, man. Look at this thing. Just in the garage. Now I know the neck looks good here, but by using polyurethane, I'd prevent wood stain from going everywhere. It says to sand it, but I don't want to sand it. I want to just put it all there. This was a big commitment, even bigger than when I had to shake the polyurethane for two minutes straight. In this moment, I felt like a bartender. Maybe I should start serving lead cocktails sometime. Applying quick, overlapping coats of polyurethane seemed to do the trick just fine. After this, I took a three-day long trip to Florida and completely abandoned this project. <sighs> Until then. But when I came home, it was like Christmas it. Day. Look how good that looks. And I started to unravel. Not like that. Need a knife? Two weeks ago, I deemed this project as undoable. So when the guitar finally started to take shape, it was a really good feeling. 
all of my anger towards fretless bass guitar players started to disappear because I finally had a fretless guitar of my own. Looks good, right? That's what I thought too until I actually played the thing. I mean, the guitar smelled really good, but overall it was like playing an entirely new instrument. All the natural harmonics are still there. It took me a couple months to even get the hang of this thing. Writing that took me way longer than it was supposed to. Playing a fretless guitar seemed awesome, but in reality it sucked, and I would never recommend it to any of you. But why is that? Why? Ultimately, I think it boils down to not having these under my fingers. For six whole years, I've gotten used to the pinpoint accuracy of frets. But playing fretless, it's like chaos. If you don't have a good sense of pitch, you'll be doomed. Luckily though, I was able to scrape up something from the bowl and kind of demonstrate this instrument, but my friend Josh dropped by the other day. When he picked up my fretless guitar, it was like nothing I've ever seen, so enjoy. Like it. Donner guitar. <laughs> <laughs>